What's up guys, it's Virtual Beats coming at you live, once again in the simulation. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going over how to mix hyperpop vocals. So I did vocals in the past using uh, stock plugins for hyperpop. So this one is just gonna be, you know, my go-to plugins that I use. And if you don't have any of these plugins, you can watch the old one, uh, the old video I did on stock plugins, or you could just watch this one and substitute these plugins for different ones that you have that do the same functions. But this is a song I did on the channel called Drowning. If you're not familiar with it, I'll put a video right here. I did a VR, uh, virtual reality music video to the song. It's pretty cool, you should check it out. But this is the song right here I have pulled up. These purple uh, vocals are the ad-libs, pink is the beat, and everything around is just, uh, just the main verse. But yeah, for those who are not familiar with the song, I'm gonna go ahead and play a little bit of it, and then I'll go ahead and break down the process. I'm drowning, I'm drowning, whoa, whoa. I'm drowning, I'm drowning, whoa, whoa. Drowning deep in the ocean, ocean, ocean. I'm losing all of my motions, motions, motions. Sipping on that potion, I, I cannot keep focus. I swear I'm always watching everybody like I got a locus, focus, focus. Cousin spells no hocus pocus. Oh, yeah, freestyle, I didn't. Yeah, so that's the song Drowning. If you want to check it out, I'll put a link below to the full song. But let's go ahead and get into this. So the first thing you need to do when you're engineering these vocals is you need to find the right key. You need to find the key of the beat. You know, I said this in tutorials in the past because the key is really important. You need to find the key so you can always stay on tune, especially with hyperpop. You know, some hyperpop uh, songs, you know, you might want to use a lot of auto tune. You might want to use, you know, high pitch voices. So right now, this is what I really run in my uh, preset for Hyperpop. I like to get a noise suppressor, you know, something to get rid of all the background noises, the hissing, the air, uh, cars passing by, you know, this, I like to use something that can, you know, suppress that, get rid of, you know, the background noise. Before I even touch the vocal, before I even go in, add auto-tune EQ in, I like to make the vocal sound as clean as possible. So that means I'll use a noise suppressor like this, NS1, or you could use a limiter with a noise gate function. And what I like to do is, I like to, before I even work on getting rid of background noise, I like to do this. I like to chop up like little sections. Like let's say this, for example, I like to go in the vocals, cut these open and go ahead and go to declicking mode. Yeah, the, cl the clicking mode, generic bleeding. And I like to go ahead and you know, if there's like little gaps right here where I'm not recording, rapping, I like to go ahead, move these over. So if you hold Alt, you get a smooth, uh, you get a smooth uh, transition, you know, you wanna go ahead and put it further out, further out, closer, you can go closer. I like to get rid of all these gaps and then I'll go ahead and go in with the, um, NS1 or whatever your limiter that you use of your choice. Then I go in with the auto tune. So for the auto tune for hyperpop, it's all, you know, your your take, your, you know, what you're trying to go for. I like the sound where it's like robotic-y, but not too much. And I like to, you know, have fun with the auto tune. So I usually keep the retune speed really high. And I go ahead and go with an, an EQ. So this EQ right here, you could use Fab Filter, but if you don't have Fab Filter, you can go ahead and use a, um, a fruity EQ. And what I do is I just cut, you know, cut the lows, boost the highs, you know, just shape up the vocal, use a compressor. So this, um, if you watch my uh, how to mix and record or how to record vocals and mix in FL Studio, I say the compressor is to keep it loud without going over the limit. So once I got my vocal shaped, I put a compressor on it. It's also important that you want to run a de -esser. You want to use a de so you can get rid of the harsh S's. So um, I think some free options for a de you can use Maximus. It has a built-in de on it. That's a stock plugin for FL Studio. You can use uh, Spitfish, it's a good free de -esser. Or you can use this one by uh, by Waves right here. This one's good. One of the presets I like on it is, uh, if you go to Dave Pensado, these three right here tend to work really good. And then I use an SSL, and this is just to, you know, remove some uh, bass frequencies, boost some highs. So if you guys want to copy this here, you guys copy these settings. Then I like to use uh, CLA vocals and just really just shape the vocal, add some wideness, you know, 
boost the treble, compress it a little bit, lower down the bass frequencies, you know, really shape up the vocal. Some uh, reverb to add, you know, some presence, you know, the vocals don't sound too dry, they sound, you know, clean. And then I'll use MV2 to just boost it all up so I make sure that it's all hitting. You could use uh, anything really, you don't have to use these plugins, but this is, you know, what I use to create this effect. So if you guys want the same effect, feel free to go ahead and copy this over. So these are what the vocals sound after I have uh, this template on them. I'm drowning, I'm drowning, whoa, whoa. I'm drowning, I'm drowning, whoa, whoa. So I seen that, you know, as I was doing these vocals, doing, you know, the hook, I felt like it could use, you know, some more, uh, I guess you could say texture, some more vocals. It, it feels empty, you know, it feels empty. So what I did was I had ad libs over that. I copied this template over to another one, which was four. It's exactly the same. The settings are exactly the same. The only thing I did different was um, I got rid of some bass frequencies. Uh, actually, a lot of bass frequencies. And then I turned the reverb up so it goes from sounding like this I'm drowning. to like it's like in a hallway you have that hallway presence and it's always good to add ad libs you know they give you know they create like a vibe they create you know that extra layer it makes your stuff not sound so plain it makes it sound just you not know, clean when you hear it in the car so this is without the ad libs i'm drowning i'm drowning whoa, whoa. and then we add the ad libs I'm drowning, whoa, whoa. I'm drowning, I'm drowning, whoa, whoa. I'm drowning, I'm drowning, whoa. So you know, add some, add some texture. I'd highly recommend adding ad libs in your, uh, your tracks, especially for hyper pop. You know, it gives it that good, good aesthetic. Especially over here, I had um, some ad libs right here. I did not wrote this, wrote this, wrote this, yeah, 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 oh. So I added a layer right there, another ad lib, and we'll just make this uh, purple so you guys could tell. So that's the ad lib right there. So it goes from. Uh, I did not wrote this, wrote this, wrote this, yeah, 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 oh. And then with the ad lib on there. Uh, I did not wrote this, wrote this, wrote this, yeah, 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 oh. Why they always wanna act so rude? I just wanna bowl with my friends in a coat, oh. I just want to party till the night is through, oh. So yeah, ad-libs is key, you know, it creates a vibe, it creates, you know, some presence, gives them, you some space. It, it just gives you, you know, more flair to the song, you know, I highly recommend ad-libs. If I didn't put ad-libs in here, it would sound, you know, too, too clean, you know, too, too, uh, I guess, bland. And now I'll show you guys how to do, you know, stutters. So for stutters, really, really simple. So you would do is you would, um, I like to have uh, the vocals on out only, no bleeding, when you're just chopping up vocals. So you don't have that line uh, bothering you. So I had uh, different recordings. So this one's just singing the verse. And then for the oceans, those were all separate recordings. And I just got, you know, I chopped them up. So what you do is you just get the slice tool. You would cut where you would want uh, the chops to be. So let's see, we got. Sipping on that potion, I, I cannot keep focus. So what I did to get that chop, I just duplicated it over. Got the slice tool right here. You chop what you want right here. So I want this section. And then I just put it right here, paste it down, real simple. And then pull this back. So these have, you know, more, more time to shine and they'll go, they'll go from sounding like Sipping on that potion, I cannot keep focus Sipping on that potion, I, I cannot keep focus I swear I'm always watching everybody like I got a locus, focus, focus As in spells, no hocus And this is why you always want to make sure you have your BPM set perfectly to the beat Because if you want to do chops, you can sync up on beat So you see right here, I have chops right here So let me pull these up this is what it, uh, without the chops. Like I got a locus, locus, ooh, uh, doesn't smell no hocus pocus. So I got rid of that. I duplicated this part, this locus part. And since it's on beat, I dropped it right at the bars of where it's at. And it's right here, so it goes two, and then it's on the other, other set of two. So you have four bars right here. 
So these two is nothing, but it hits right here. So I, what I did was I duplicate it, paste it at every, every uh, other two. And it goes from sounding like this. Like I got a locus, locus, ooh, uh, cause smells no hocus. To where it just like sounds I like it's like repeating, stuttering. Like I got a locus, 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 cause smells no hocus pocus. Oh yeah, freestyle. I you want to add flair, you know, you want to add some stutter, some pauses, some, you know, uh, some high pitch noises, low pitch noises, like right here. All I did was pitch the vocals down to get the, um, the effect right here. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So if you found this video helpful, if you have uh, any other mixing techniques that I didn't know about, you know, that are, you know, probably more effective than these, I'd like to hear them in the comments below. You know, any techniques that you got, any, any uh, auto-tune settings that you you know, recommend for Hyperpop. And if you're a producer or if you're an artist and you're looking for feedback on your tracks or you want, you know, constructive criticism, feel free to join the Discord server. Link below. We have over 200 members in the server. We give away free courses, free drum kits, free samples. And, you know, when I get to a thousand subscribers, I want to do an audio interface giveaway. So, you know, if you want to be a part of that, go ahead, join the movement. But this is Virtual Beats. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'm signing out the simulation. Drowning deep in the ocean, 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 ocean. I'm losing all of my motions, my motions, my motions. Sipping on that potion, I, I cannot keep focus. I'm swear I'm always watching everybody like I got a locus, focus, focus. Cause I smells no hocus pocus. Oh yeah, freestyle. I did not wrote this, wrote this, wrote this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh.